evening, I am Laszlo from Graveyard Theater. Welcome. We got a special, special little tidbit for you guys for this DVD release of Blood Scarab. We were recently in Chicago at the Music Box Theater for the big world premiere of this movie. And it was scary and it was fun too. We met the actresses, the stars. It was a lot, a lot of fun. And we thought we would add some of this little behind the scenes footage for you guys and this little extras, the, you know, extras part. So check it out behind the scenes Blood Scarab at the Music Box Theater in Chicago and it's scary fun. Guess what? We've got a great thing here today. A really, really good thing. Like what? Oh, Tell me. These guys. Uh, yeah, Where are we? I like this guy already. Wait a minute. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Come here, some, some movie. movie. What do you mean, some movie? movie this is Don Glute's movie. Don Blood Glute. Scarab, man. That's right. Like Blood Scarab. From what I hear. That's the thing. All right. Yeah. It's, it's Friday night. We're in Don Glute's house that he grew up in. We yeah. got a bunch of the actors Shit, from his new movie. movie. Man. Okay, called Blood Scarab. We got some actors. We're going to introduce you to them and get see what this is all about. First of all, hello guys. Oh, Welcome yeah. to Graveyard Theater. And your name is Dell. That's right. And your name is Luke and Wolf. Luke and Wolf. Well, we'll go one at a time here. Demonica, why don't you inter uh, interview him about his music. He did the music for the movie. Wow, you have music. What kind of music? I did, uh, well, six of my songs are in the film. Six of my songs from two of my albums, Nocturnal and Vampire Nights. Sounds nice. Yes, and, and they're vampire-themed songs, and Don Glute liked the songs and was uh, kind enough to use them in the film soundtrack. Don was okay, kind so enough to use them? Oh, he's very Did he grab them from you and run? Uh, no, he was kind. Oh, he was kind, okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, okay. Okay. so you got a band uh, and, or right? is it a one-man band? Well, it's a one-man band. It's a one-man band at the moment. But things are, uh, are panning out for the future. Uh, so if you're good enough, you don't need anybody. Wait, 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 you don't need yeah. panning out. You mean stick the pan out and let the dollars fall in the pan. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what we're, that's we're talking about. I'll hit you with a that's pan. That's Shut up and let the man Get the old cashola in the pan, or the can, or, or you know. Yeah, to Monica, we're right, back with some more people from the film. And I'm liking more. this one, because she's close oh, to me. Of course you are. <laughs> I'm liking you're it. You're just digging it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Didn't I tell you I thought she was a I know I'm going to be able to scrape all the crud off the bathroom walls. I'm a sucker for a Redhead chick. Okay. And you're a sucker for anything. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. As long as it's got the right parts. Well, I mean, she's an attractive young lady, and your name is what? My name is Monique Parent. Monique Parent, and she plays the vampire babe in this movie. Now, what's your name called in the movie? Countess Elizabeth Bathory. Countess Elizabeth. Ooh. Ooh. I have a portrait of you on my own. Yeah. On the wall. Oh, as yeah. you should. She plays Countess, and she just does the count, or down for the count, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> now, how many people do you slay in this movie? We haven't seen the film yet. You know, I think Countess Elizabeth Bathory has killed between three and six hundred women, but the count is a little. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You go after women, and you're just on that side. What about the guys? Come on! Don't you yeah. know the history, man? Oh, I was just saying. What about the virgins? Man, she bathes in blood. Bathing in the blood of virgins. Don't you know nothing, you knucklehead? Now you want to know about blood? She's the villager slayer every day. Go with her. Uh, you two should hang out. It's more like blood guts meat. She's more. already dead. She's already dead. Too. Well, well I, I, I don't know. Was never really quite alive. Eh, in the first place. I've been there. I mean, demons. They were just. Well, we, we we got this uh, Tom Cruise things. glasses, dude. What's his name? He doesn't have a name. He he's your this body is guy, right? This is X. This is X. <laughs> well, he's just gonna. Just keep looking. He's just gonna sit yeah, there. Bodyguard, making sure you keep your hands to yourself he there. He takes fingers. care of you. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that was a goal. All right. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about the film. What what your roles are. What did you enjoy about making the film? Stuff like that. Well, you know, playing Countess Elizabeth Bathory was very interesting to me because the script is. A little out there, it's a little wild. You know, in acting school, they don't really tell you how to play the undead. <laughs> so, yeah, so I was like, okay, what can I do with this? And I decided... Put the fangs in this, and do it. Uh, well, there's part of that. And I, I, I kind of did my cat. I pretend did an imitation of my cat. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I sort of decided this is a woman who's perimenopausal. She's 40 years old. Mm -hmm. She's having issues. She wants to stay young. Women today are shooting... 
poison into, into their, their face. Yeah. You know? Hold oil, too. Like, they're, <laughs> heard about that they're doing all sorts of... So <laughs> how different is it bathing in the blood True. of virgins? It's all same. kind of no. the same yeah. thing. So this is what keeps you young. You bathe in blood. And I blood. bathe in the blood of virgins. Okay, I get it. it gives me this luscious skin. Oh, you yeah. know. Demonica, oh my god, this has what? made my evening three incredibly beautiful women. I'm Come really going to be scraping the back. Hey, I don't walls. get this opportunity to marry I'm going to be scraping the back. Give me a break. Look at this. I mean, this is a guy's dream come true. Uh -huh. Well, I'm dead, but hey, at least I can dream. Hey, I'm hiding all, right. all your little magazines. Well, all right. I guess we have to sit there and say they're from the movie Blood Scarab, and we're going to introduce you who they are, and they're going to tell us a little bit about what parts they have in the movie. All right? Sure, right. sir. Right. We'll start off with yeah. the lovely blonde on the end from Russia, I believe. Russia with love. Russia with love. <laughs> and, and then your whole vibe. The vibe. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what your part is in the movie and how you got the part of doing this. Um, let's see. I play Mina. I start oh, as Mina. Uh, Mina. Mina. Oh. She is actually from Romania, I guess. And uh, I guess. Oh, I guess. <laughs> she's from, yeah. she's from I guess, I'm guessing, yeah. But she's a goth girl, and... Uh, we like the country. Right? Yeah, goth girl. And, <laughs> and she becomes... Um, she becomes... Uh, a vampire? No, she becomes... Uh, <laughs> A victim. A of victim. Of Not a wench, but uh, a Elizabeth okay. Bathory. Yeah. Right. I I guess. She becomes one of, one of the helpers of Elizabeth. One of the right. helpers. She's seduced uh, by Elizabeth. Oh, you're, 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 she's, she's, a, she's a Daniel handmaiden in the movie, right? Not exactly. Oh, I thought I tried. I, I was reaching. I don't, I don't know. I haven't yeah. seen the film yet. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah you'll understand. I'll understand <laughs> when I get there. Yeah, yeah when you get there, you'll lose it. Well, I mean, it must be kind of hard because he casted. Very lovely that needs to be in this movie, and your role. I all did it. Totally my credit. I did it. Cassie, Cassie, <laughs> Cassie, yeah. What's your phone number again? Uh, okay. Hey, well, I'm gonna catch you in my next movie. Don't even try. All right, I try. <laughs> now, your roles in these films are they something you're used to doing, or is this kind of off base to what you guys are normally doing in films? Or this is what? actually for me. Right before I got cast, this movie actually a month before I said. I hate horror films. <laughs> I will never be in a horror film, seriously, because... And then here it is, I'm doing a horror film! <laughs> If the money's good, we'll do it, right? <laughs> right. I get, I get the drift on that part. Yeah, it's not something I always <laughs> dreamed of doing okay. it, but I guess life is different and always... Now, you you're from Russia, but you live in L.A. I live in L.A. And you've been there for how many years? Seven years. Seven years. She speaks awesome English. This is a trick that blows my mind how good she is. She's very, very good at, with the American language. How do you find the American people been treating you? Oh, excellent. You like it? Very good. Oh, now, you're not going home soon. Who's going to treat her bad? Look at her. Well, I would. Not <laughs> anyone else. But American yeah. people haven't been treating you bad, have they? No, no. Okay. Saying Russian go home or anything. No. Like oh, no, 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 no one's I'm calling her. Just I think no one's I'm calling her a commie or anything like that. She, I mean, heck, you see her on the street. Who wants to do Come on, come on, come on. Check yeah. you out. We're, we're here to talk about the movie, not the I'm working on it. All right. All right. Well, we'll say welcome to Russia. Thank you. 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 Sorry. What the heck? <laughs> LA people are on drugs. Come on, we all know that. Well, look at you, you're on coffee. I'm kidding. Yeah, coffee. Come on, coffee. You are this not welcome to LA. <laughs> all right, all right. I was going to invite you to stay in my place, but you know oh, what? Oh, why? Oh, that way. Forget it. You blew it. Open mouth. Open mouth. mouth. I'm so Insert sorry. Foot. Hey, I yeah. tried. All right. Now, you're obviously a looker. What part in the Thank movie you. do you play? Um, I play the dungeon serving wench. You're a wench? But actually, Ooh, sounds like fun. It does, oh, okay. but it's not for me. Oh man, I have some other ideas. I am right. Elizabeth Bathory's um, serving girl. I actually collect blood from the victims while worrying that I'm going to be the next victim. So. Oh, so you worry you're going to be a victim and you're collecting yeah, blood for the other victims, but, yeah, but what I do the guys do? Oh, I've never Nothing? Guys. <laughs> there ain't no guys. There ain't no guys. Wait a minute, this guys. movie's all women now? Oh, I'm going to enjoy this film. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, oh, boy. Like, there's any guys
the, the whole filming of the movie isn't the type of role you'd like to play, or did you? How did you get the role? What what antagonized you to get into this film? Well, I've known Don for a few years, so I was actually in his last poor, movie. Poor girl. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's all Ron's last movie. Oh, you're so. gonna hear it. I'm gonna hear that one. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear that. Well, Don's not a bad guy, but you know him too. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how long have you known him for a few years? A few years. I was in his last film. I had a small part in his last film. So okay. Um, well, he's done five films, obviously. So mm -hmm. so he does rotate some of the same girls in the same movies. Definitely. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, do you uh, find? this type of movie out of your character? Or well, people always think that, but I'm a big fan of horror movies, so... Um, that's a plus for me. Right. <laughs> I love horror movies, so it's fun for me. It's really fun for me. All right, and, that's good. You know, kind of against well, you know, probably. Yeah. You, as long as you play a sexy wench, you'll get a lot of people talking to you. Yeah. So I take it you're wearing some provocative clothing in this movie. Um, or is it new? He says he does a lot of nudity. You can see those movie. eyebrows, folks. Those eyebrows. Hey, Don, is she nude in this movie? I need to know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go no, ahead. I'm in go tattered. I'm in tattered rags. I'm. I'm she you know. Well, you have to see the movie. That's what I meant. Oh, oh shut up! Yeah. See through the movie. No, I'm being rags. a scumbag. Let me I go know. with it. I'm All right. Peasant girl. I, my at least he admits it. Peasant right. girl outfit. She's a lovely peasant girl. We'll leave it at that. But you know. You're obviously a looker, probably a very good actress, another Thank lovely you. lady, and yeah. like I said, we're looking forward to seeing the film. Last but not least, before I get my head knocked to the wall, because I didn't point her out in the last interview, and your name is? Jacqueline Olivier. Jacqueline. From Brazil, the fun country. Oh, she's from Brazil, with the other ones yeah. that got all the nice, you know, you know yeah. and I have a song for you. There too. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Rock em, lady. Oh, she's oh, saying, oh, she say he's butt, 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 butt. butt, butt, butt. butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now explain your bizarre role in this making of this movie. Well, um, I have a co-starring role in the movie. I play uh, assistant of the professor of the museum where the mummy uh, runs away from. She's not stolen. She run away from. Oh, oh so you you act, try to act like you know what you're doing. Kind of, yeah, just like okay, most, we gotta get that straight. Just okay, like most kind of, so I am the <laughs> assistant of the professor in the museum. Also, I worked as behind the scenes as a casting director, and I'm associate producing. Wait a minute, wait, Ooh, something's not so right I here. Cast away. Wait, wait a minute, she, she ain't cast all this hot air. I need her job. <laughs> she ain't just for you. Know, and another thousand guys. If I had your job, I'd have like 20 of these lined up for like days, oh. you know, seeing ladies. Laszlo has got serious bad problems. First of all, all right, what's it tell me? about in a movie about your production of this and the little trials and tribulations of making this Well, movie. we uh, there are a lot of trials. Uh, there, uh, we don't have enough time to get into well, all of them. Kind of, kind of the biggest problem we always have is how much time we have. We don't have enough time to shoot what we want. How so long was this movie? How many days This one we had nine days, which is great for me because usually we have like four and a half or five days. But I had some good actors this time, you know. Uh, oh yeah, great. Uh, Jacqueline's, a fr we've been friends for, many, for a number of years now, but this is the first time we've actually worked on anything together. She was also helping with the casting, who was my social yeah, producer. And Natasha, who I discovered, she just came in out of the blue oh, and did a great job. Uh, Real team player. Hey, Natasha is an excellent actually, English speaking you know, Russian. I, I love it. I was really supposed to be on audition, so somehow I totally enrolled with my cousin and uh, she cr totally you crashed it. You crashed well, the audition. She well, did. not. Oh, kinda, I know. right? Because mm. I didn't get the submission. And I was yeah, like, you well, came in and you said, "Can I audition too?" Yeah, right? yeah. You crashed for the so, audition. Crashed the audition. Yeah, it's good time calling a crash, <laughs> baby. He cr she crashed, crashed for the audition. Made it. And you know what? I think, a part of the deal. <laughs> I, I think when Natasha came in, uh, we both said we, we right. wanted her for some. We weren't sure what part, and we were having a hard time getting this kind of goth character because when you think of goth characters with Renata, black yeah. hair, and, and then finally we wow. said, "No, why don't?" Remember, we were out there, yes. out there, out there. Initially, you know, we thought uh, outside the building the girl should be brunette. Were you yeah. a blonde yeah. in the movie? We went against time, you and it okay. worked, and it worked yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it, like I said, Don. I mean, this movie is. Probably is, we're going to be going to see this movie very shortly, but I'm just saying, is it you're considered your best work? Yeah, so far I think yeah, but, uh, yeah I think it's the best thing we've done. We've done six movies now. Oh, I six! I thought it was five. I'm sorry. No, this, this, this is number six. <laughs> this, this will be the the best one. I think. Oh, all right. Do you uh, like I said? Obviously, a lot of these girls appear in <clears throat> other movies of yours. <laughs> so, no, so, these, two, these two have not appeared in anything before. Oh, really? I mean, have any of you guys done any of those movies? No. You did, right? What movie did you do? Elisa was in um, the last one, the last Mommy's one. Kiss, Second Mommy's Dynasty. Uh, Cindy Pucci is recreating the same role she played Who's in the last Cindy movie. Cindy Pucci? She is on the way. Oh, okay.